Hello guys, welcome to our English class. Today, we're going to learn conditional clauses. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words which has a subject and a verb. For example, she lives in Canada. She is the subject and lives is the verb. There are two kinds of clauses, main clause and subordinate clause. A main clause can stand alone. For example, students will do the project today. A subordinate clause or subclause cannot stand alone. It has to be attached to the main clause. For example, if they have the right equipment. If they have the right equipment, cannot stand alone. It has to be attached to a main clause. For example, the students will do the project today if they have the right equipment. There are many kinds of subordinate clauses. Adjective clause, noun clause, adverbial clause. Examples of adjective clause. I know the man who is sitting on the stage chair. Who is sitting on the stage chair is an adjective clause explaining the man. Example of noun clause. I believe that you will join our team. That you will join our team is a noun clause because it functions as a noun to replace an object of I believe. The next are the examples of adverbial clauses. Example of time clause is, can you come before the manager arrives? Before the manager arrives is a time clause, explaining the time when the person can come. Example of conditional clause, I will tell you a secret if you promise not to tell anyone. If you promise not to tell anyone is a conditional clause. It is a condition for me to tell you a secret. Now, let's come to conditional clauses. What is a conditional clause? A conditional clause is a group of words which has a subject and a verb that has a function to express a condition. For example, if I were you, I would do all the tasks as fast as possible. Jane would cook if she had no food left. Nina will marry Henry this year if her father gives his blessings. Why is it called a conditional clause? Because the function of the clause is to give a condition so that something can happen. For example, Nina will marry Henry this year if her father gives his blessing. If her father gives his blessing is a condition for Nina to marry Henry this year. There are four types of conditional clauses, type 0, type 1, type 2, type 3. Type 0, general truth. It is used to show a condition which automatically results an action or a general truth or a rule. For example, if you heat ice, it melts. This is a general truth. Every time you heat ice, it surely melts. The second example, we walk to school whenever we miss the bus. Whenever we miss the bus, that is a condition that we walk to school. So it happens every time. Every time we miss the bus, we walk to school. The last example in the competition, the participant gets a point if any of the jury presses the golden button. So it is a rule. The rule says that the participant gets a point if any of the jury presses the golden button. Type 1. Possible to happen. This type is used to show a condition which can result another action. If you lend me your book, I will return it tomorrow. It is possible for you to lend me the book. And it is possible for me to return it tomorrow. But not every time you lend me your book, I automatically return it tomorrow. That is why we don't use type 0 for this situation. 
The next example. If you wear your new dress, I will wear my new dress too. It is possible for you to wear your new dress. That is the condition for me to wear my new dress too. But not every time you wear your new dress, then I will automatically wear my new dress. And that is why we don't use type 0 for this condition. Type 2, imaginary now and future. It is used to show an imaginary condition, which is the opposite of the real condition at the moment of speaking, or now, or in the future. For example, on the phone. Hi, Pip. Your favorite singer is singing on the stage now. If you were here now, we could sing together. The fact is, Pip is on the phone. He is not with the speaker now. Being together with the speaker is only an imaginary. So, being able to sing together is also an imaginary. The second example. If Hans worked in Jakarta, I would meet him often. The fact is, Hans does not work in Jakarta. So, I do not often meet him. Part 3. Imagery in the past. It is used to show an imaginary condition which is the opposite of the real condition in the past. For example, if yesterday had been holiday, we would have visited grandma yesterday. The fact is, yesterday was not holiday and we did not visit grandma yesterday. The second example, Stanley would have bought a new tie if he had brought his wallet. The fact is, Stanley did not buy a new tie because he did not bring his wallet. Mixed type, imagery in the present and in the past. It is used to show an imaginary condition which is the opposite of the real condition in the present and in the past. For example, if Ryan had finished his chores, he would not be cleaning the house now. The fact is, Ryan did not finish his chores. So, now he is cleaning the house. Again, in the past, Ryan did not finish his chores. So, now... He has to clean the house. That's why he is cleaning the house now. Second example. Ernie would still have a lot of money if she had not bought the new house. The fact is, Ernie does not have a lot of money now because she has bought a new house. Now, what can we learn from the examples? Type 0, General Truth Examples If you hit ice, it melts. We walk to school whenever we miss the bus. In the competition, the participant gets a point if any of the jury presses the golden button. Please check that the blue words or the blue printed words are subject and the red printed words are the verbs. So from these sentences, we can conclude that the main clause and the subclause are simple present tenses. So that's why we can conclude that if simple present tense is combined with simple present tense, please check that if the main clause is at the beginning of the sentence, then we don't use comma. However, if the if clause is at the beginning of the sentence, we need comma. Now, let's do these exercises for type 0. Now, let's check the answers.
Type 1. Now, check the examples. If you lend me your book, I will return it tomorrow. I will wear my dress if you wear your new dress too. From these two sentences, we can conclude that the tenses used are simple present tense and will for one or future present. Now, please do the exercises. Now, check the answers for the exercises of type 1. Now, let's continue with type 2. Check the examples. If you were here now, we could sing together. If Hans worked in Jakarta, I would meet him often. Conclusion, in these two sentences, we use simple past tense and would verb one. Now, let's do the exercises for type 1. Now, check your answers for the exercises of type 2. Type 3. Imagery in the past. If yesterday had been holiday, we would have visited grandma yesterday. Stanley would have bought a new tie if he had bought his wallet. From these two examples, we can conclude that past perfect is used and also would have for 3. So, if past perfect and combined with would have for 3. Now, do the exercises for type 3. Now, let's continue with checking the answers. Now, please continue with mixed type. Look at the examples. If Ryan had finished his chores, he would not be cleaning the house now. Ernie would still have a lot of money if she had not brought a new house. The conclusion, we combine wood for one with past perfect. So, we have subject would for one plus if past perfect or if past perfect 
combined with subject root of 1. The next thing to do is to do the exercises of conditional clauses. Please return to Google Classroom. There will be extra points if you do the exercises at the allocated time. Thank you for your attention. Be kind and be happy. God bless you.